Hey guys, so it's been requested of me to do my favorite spring and summer um, blushes like I did for fall and winter and I'm also going to do um, a favorite spring and summer lip video and then also nail polish. So I have quite a few. A lot of these have been my favorites for a couple of years and some of these are new ones that I will definitely be enjoying this spring and summer. So spring and summer is definitely my favorite time to wear makeup just because you can go bright and people don't think you're crazy. You can experiment and you can just have fun and you don't have to be so safe and neutral with your blushes. So I'll start with MAC because I feel like they're the most talked about on YouTube. Um, I have some cream blushes and also just some powder blushes. This one is Optimistic Orange. Um, this was with the Lily Pulitzer collection, and it's just a cream-based orange blush. Um, it's really nice on its own, sheared out. Or you can use it as kind of a base to another blush. Like, even if you wanted to layer a coral or a pink blush over this, you definitely can do that. Next one is a, probably hands down, maybe top three for the spring-summer. And it's another cream, cream blend blush from MAC, and it's Joie de Vivre. And I feel like this is the cream version of Benefits Coralista, the cream colored version. This is probably my most used cream blush this time of year. It's just so gorgeous and it's, it just gives you such a nice healthy glow and I absolutely love it. And then I have Dolly Mix, which I've been really actually getting into wearing this a lot more um, than I've been. This used to be like my favorite favorite blush ever from MAC and then I kind of stopped wearing it. I don't know why, but I find lately that it's such a perfect pink for me. Like as much as I love wearing pink blush, a lot of pinks don't work on my skin tone, but this one, um, I really love like colors, like really cool blue tone colors, like pink swoon doesn't look good on me. So I love that. And then this is a MAC pro color. Anybody can order by calling the 1-800 number, but it is only sold. Um, I think I don't know. I could be wrong. It could be available to everyone now. But it's, this is Salsa Rose. And such a gorgeous, vibrant, bright color. You don't need a lot. Little goes a long way. A very light hand and uh, a good fluffy brush. So it's right here. So it's kind of, it would look really nice layered over Joie de Vivre. And that's Salsa Rose. And then I have some blushes here from NARS. Oh, I need to wipe my hands off because they're getting dirty. This one is Taj Mahal. And um, this looks even more amazing on darker skin tones. Amazing, amazing color. Um, but I really feel like it's a color for everyone, depending on how you apply it. Um, you can definitely go sheer. You can build it up. Or you have the option of um, layering it with another one to make it a little bit more wearable. It has a gorgeous kind of gold shimmery sheen. It would look amazing over optimistic orange, but that is the color. And it's probably one of my favorites for summer especially because I have a darker color. Next is a cream blush from NARS and it is Cactus Flower. And you can see it almost kind of looks like Salsa Rose, but when you have it in different lights, you could just look at all that gold gorgeous sheen. I love this and I love the consistency of this. It's a cream to powder blush. So it's very easy to apply. You do have some time to work with it before it kind of sets and it feels amazing on your skin. Um, it does have that gold sheening. Um, this is the only cream blush I have from NARS. I've always wanted to try Penny Lane but I just don't think it would show up on my skin tone. And then Madly which is probably my favorite blush from NARS um, and this is definitely more of a neutral almost a little bit bronzy color a color for anybody I love the pigmentation and silkiness feel of this this is a beautiful color to kind of define your cheeks and give you a nice healthy glow from within um, depending on your skin color you could probably use this to contour um, but I like putting this right on my cheekbones. It's just beautiful. Okay, probably my number one most used blush for spring and summer is Benefits Coralista. This is a must-have for everyone. Everyone must own this color. It's freaking amazing. It smells good, too. I just can't believe how long this has lasted me. I've had this for quite a while. And it's still going strong. 
It's so pretty. It's like a light coral. And oh, I, I just love it. Um, so definitely everybody needs to own this. Everybody needs to own it. Um, Illamasca's Hussy. Which is another really vibrant color that you can play up or play down. Um, it's right here. It's more of a pinky color, but it does have some corally undertones. Um, it's a very soft blush and very nice um, wear, wear time on it. It's a very long wearing blush color. So my newest blushes of the year would be the Sephora and Pantone colors, um, the duo. And I've been loving, what I've been doing is either wearing this one alone or wearing this one alone, or then I layer this one and put this one on top because this one's really pigmented. And this one's more of just like your average peachy coral. So, here's them kind of mixed. And I'm kind of running out of rooms on my hands. That's why I'm swatching them on my fingers. So, I absolutely love this if you want to pick it up from Sephora. Um, the This one with the texture has really, really pretty gold sheen. Um, this one's a little bit more of a matte color. And then Lorac Exposed, which is a beautiful, almost mineralized, satin finished blush. And I'm going to go right here with it. You know what, it's kind of similar to, um, that didn't work out so well. It's kind of similar to Coralista. This is Coralista. It's a little bit darker. But it has a really gorgeous finish. Looks amazing on the skin. When I wear this, I don't tend to wear a highlighter with it. it. Is Milani's Luminous, which I kind of heard was a dupe for Exposed, but they're actually pretty different. They kind of look the same in the pan, but Exposed is definitely darker, and Luminoso is definitely more of a like orangey peach blush, whereas <sighs> Exposed is definitely more of like a coral peach. So this is Exposed. And this is Milani Luminoso. So you can definitely see, like, the finish is quite the same, but the color, the colors are different. You can actually probably mix these, and that would make a really pretty blush color, too. And this thing keeps popping out, and it's so annoying. Arrgh. So the last one I'm going to show you is from MAC. Um, limited edition, discontinued, but amazing color. So I'm showing it because... Some of you might have this and forget that you have it, and some of you might be able to still find this online or at a CCO, and it's Instant Chic. I, I'm going to say by far this is my most favorite blush from MAC ever. It's a pretty bold statement. Um, I love this because you can build it up so easily, but even just sheared out is so gorgeous. It's right here. So if you can find it, I would recommend it. Um, it's a matte blush, and it's so gorgeous, but I just wanted to include it because it is technically one of my favorites. So those are all of my blushes. You guys obviously have seen collection videos. You know I have a really big weak spot for blushes. Um, so there's a lot that I obviously will still wear in the spring and summer, but they're also colors I wear throughout the year. So these specifically are the ones I reach for the most in this um in the two different seasons. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And um, look out for my spring summer favorite nail polishes and lip products. So until then, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.